job here, they'd pull us back to France. They will. Pushing's just saving me for the big drive on Boylan. Hey, what's the name of this boy? It's Kuzvoskanov. How do you spell it? S-K-Z-A-V-O-S-K-A-N-O-F-F. Who else? Yeah. Oh, like in Buffalo, huh? Thanks. that time, Beaver. He's part of so many whiskers the past month, but to him, a muff is a muff. to see a war. Not me. I wanted to see Paris. Pray the same place. Oh, 
of Hey, you. <laughs> yes, sir? Take it away. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, sir? No, American. Same thing to me. But is this funny? First you kick me, then you sit on me in the mud, and now you drop me on the floor. Oh, I'm all blue and black. Oh, that's my favorite colors, and they look very well on you. Oh, here, I'll, uh, I'll help you. Uh, the shoulder, she is bad, too. Ah, the eyes, she is bad, too. <laughs> well, maybe not bad, just uh, a little naughty. Oh, please. Uh... Oh, gee, I'm sorry. Now, here, you sit right down here, and Dr. Jimmy... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to do my dusting today. You know, this is the dustiest town I've ever... Now, Jimmy will fix you up with some coffee, and then you can tell him how you got tied up in that bag. Yes, sir? I always say that when a guest drops in unexpectedly, the perfect host is never in a loss. Of course, you'd probably rather have tea, but... Uh... <clears throat> oh, 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 I'm so sorry. But who ever heard of an American doughboy serving tea? Now then, you wrap yourself around that and relax. Please, what is that? That young lady is an American delicacy known as canned cow. Made from contented? It must be a wonderful country, America. Even your cows are contented. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. You know, Princess, you're kind of a tasty dish. Tasty dish? Yeah, a knockout. Knockout? Yeah. In fact, I might go so far as to say that you are beautiful. Oh, no, I'm all muddy and wet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I sit. Dr. Jimmy's going to get those wet clothes off you right away. Uh, wait a minute. Please, I did not mean to bother you. I go now. Oh, but, but, but your clothes are wet, you know. They will dry. Oh, well, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I... I guess I got started off on the wrong foot. Do me a favor before you go, will you? What? Lay one right there. It is not necessary. I have seen many soldiers. No, I mean it. Look, I'll show you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look, I've been trying to knock somebody out with that for years, and it had to be me. <laughs> Let's start all over. What do you say? You know, when I was in a cavalry... Cavalry? 
Yeah, you know, horses. Look, get it, get it, you know. Sure, Mexico, me and Pershing. Pershing, blackjack. Oh, blackjack, yeah. oh. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if I thought you meant that. Oh, no, 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 no. Olga, sorry. <laughs> Listen, Mexico, you say? Yeah, yeah. yeah me and Pushing, we was down there for a warm up. Oh, and did you? Did we what? Uh, what you say, warm up? Well, uh, I'm not so sure about Pushing, but I not only warmed up, I sizzled. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need to buy you. Don't they have American? Hey, what's that mean? What you said? Oh, oh I said, uh, oh, I don't buy when I am with the big American. Yeah, hey, wait a minute. Come here. Come here. Let's see that stuff. Hey, you like that, baby? Do you? Oh, it'll be all right on your piano if you had a piano. Oh, <laughs> you big no nah. Hey, look. Hey, here's one. Try this on. Oh, but this is not the place for the dressing gown. No, I guess you're right. I gotta get back to quarters. Oh, what is it? You got change for 20? Oh, I have. Yeah? Oh, you're a gal what's holding, huh? Yeah. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Where did you get these? Oh, your friend Jimmy. He is liberal. He give me that money. Oh, Jimmy, huh? Uh-huh. He did, did he? Hey, wait a minute. What do you got to do with this? Oh, I'm her father. Oh, you're her father. Now oh, your father is sir. You, you, you big stiff. But you've got to be a princess. What? Well, every girl in this part of the country is either a princess or she has a sick father. I know. Well, you haven't got a sick father, so you must be a princess. I'm just saying something about Well, I'll have to give you a little argument on that plain stuff. Oh, no, no, no. Well, forget about it. Say, where's your family, princess? My family. They were all killed. I was watching the door of the well, what do they want you for? They think I'll have a family jewel, but they'll tell them where they are in. Oh, well, you don't have to worry around here. We've got no Bolsheviks. No, no one's machine gun. Oh, that. Well, every once in a while, someone tries to sneak across the bridge, and we have to dust them off a little. See, we, uh... What's going on here? Why aren't you in there with a the gun? Well, why aren't you in there? It's your turn. I yelled at you when you ran off with that dame. If it hadn't been for me... Yeah, don't get the shark through. Hey, Chuck, you can't go in there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, looks like Saturday night around here. Fine thing, I can't even turn my back on Well, that's your fault. My fault? Yeah, if you hadn't have pushed me, I wouldn't have grabbed that wagon. The bag wouldn't have fallen in the mud, and she wouldn't have had to take a bath. Yeah, and I suppose it's my fault that you gave that Olga name these cigar coupons. Shh, shh, nothing. I got these in change for 20 bucks. All right, all right, I'll pay you. Well, that's better. Uh, now, where is she? I don't know. Maybe I've been robbed. <laughs> Gotta look like an army corps to this big monkey. American Army welcomes General Stavinsky to its headquarters at, uh, uh, Skuzvaskanov. Yeah. Uh, uh, par pardon uh, me, General. You 
like it here in Skidavoskanyo. Exactly. You like it here, huh? Like it? Listen, General, this is the softest job I had in 18 years of service. Like it? Ha! <laughs> we love it. Especially the opportunity to serve shoulder to shoulder with our noble allies, the Cossacks. Well, I suggest that you enjoy it to the utmost. Because your noble allies, the Cossacks, are about to abandon the town. Oh, General, you can't do that. The American reinforcements are on the way. I gotta hold this town. Them's my orders. Your orders? From whom? My commanding officer. I am the commanding officer in... <coughs> exactly. And my orders are that the town be abandoned tomorrow. Unless American reinforcements of sufficient strength to ensure a successful defense arrive by noon. Uh, uh, hold it, Beaver. But General, I've told you, I've telegraphed. Ah, you telegraph and you're right and you telegraph. What happened? Nothing. Can it be that you Americans do not want to fight? Well, we'll show you if we want to fight or not. I, uh, I'm sure the General realizes that the function of his allies is to consolidate the resistance of the formidable Cossacks. The invading force cannot accomplish an evacuation without a struggle. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that two good men with a machine gun at a strategic point like this could hold up a regiment. I'm glad you're so sure. Because if no reinforcements arrive before midday tomorrow, you'll have an excellent opportunity to demonstrate. The mail and delivery finally got through. Well, the letter seems to be important. Well, thanks. It was about time. It is important. Listen to this. Officer commanding American detachment, Skavaskanov. Realize importance of position. Hold at all cost. Reinforcements on way. Arrive morning of 12. Well, that's tomorrow. See, General, I told you. Uh, you told me. There's a Bolshevik army within 30 miles of... <laughs> exactly. And we shall see what happens tomorrow. Uh, don't, uh, don't let us detain you, General. You see, this young lady is... Your sister. Yeah, no. Uh, uh... So, you've been robbed, eh? You had a dame in the bag all the time. Get her out of here. Now, wait a minute, Chuck. This is a lady. She's no ordinary dame. Not all ordinary dames. Only some is more so than others. Well, listen, you big... Please, little... Jimmy. He's right. I'll go. Not in my coat. Not in anything. She came in for protection and she's going to get it. Who gives the commands around here? I'm asking you. Who gives the commands? You do, Sarge, but... Listen. No buts. I give the orders and she goes. And by the way, what's the idea of grabbing that letter about the reinforcements? I'm the guy that raised a mail around here. Yeah, well, read this and weep. Shoelaces. Why, you ought to wait a minute. Take it easy, Chuck. We're no worse off than we were before. Well, there ain't no reinforcements coming. Well, they weren't coming anyhow. How do you know they wasn't? Why didn't you keep quiet? I wanted to get rid of the general because Sonia was slipping off the hook. Yeah, and we're slipping on. Now, listen, recruit. You get rid of that dame. She's dynamite, and I don't want her around here. Where are you going? I'm going over to see the general and tell him the truth about the whole thing. You're staying right here. Oh, come on, forget it. I ain't sore. What's going on here? We prepare for the American reinforcements. Tomorrow they come. Yeah, who told you? No, oh, Stalinsky. Where is he? Oh, you rode out of town. What for? I don't know. Too busy to walk. Say, what's he? You see, this table is for officers. Well, I'm an officer. What's it in you? Oh, but sergeant. <laughs> when the American reinforcements come, I'll have a captain, a major, a colonel, a general, and maybe even, uh, what you say, a god. Oh, come on now, let's be friends. If you're sure about the dressing gown, you can have it. Dressing gown, huh? Well, I have many dressing gowns, and the American officers will buy them. And not with cigar coupon. Oh, look, Olga, I'm... Oh, you are a, uh, uh, you know, what? Uh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh. Yeah? Oh, that's the way it is, huh? I'm a chump. 
I gotta come all the way to Russia to get shoved around. Well, let me tell you something, you ain't no bargain. I've just been fooling around with you to keep in practice till I made a real dance. And furthermore, I'm through with this joint. You bounced me around for the last time. Oh, no. Don't you worry about Chuck. He's kind of rough, but after all, he is a soldier. Hey, who hung all the overcoats up there? Oh, I did. It was kind of drafty in here. Yeah? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, Chuck. You, you can't do that. She's changing her clothes. Yeah, well, if she knows what's good for her, oh, we, and she's got to get out of here. Oh, Chuck, will you Never listen? Never mind, Jimmy. You told me the clothes. Now, Chuck, you can't do that. Well, you didn't find him, did you? No, he's out of town. Yeah, that proves it. Tell him, Princess. General Stavinsky is Mineral Stavinsky. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Let's start all over again. You tell me that she knows all about Stavinsky, and I'll say, what about Stavinsky? Come on, Princess, please. What about Stavinsky? He is not. Not what? Not Stavinsky. When I was a prisoner, I saw this man execute the real Stavinsky. And he must have stolen Stavinsky's credentials. Then this guy's a bullshit. Sure he is. Well, what's he doing here? This village is the key to the whole district. Stavinsky wants to get us out of here so we can turn it over to the bullshits. Well, why is he asking for reinforcements? That's just a stall. He wants to put us on the spot so we'll pull out with the Cossacks. What about some... Hey, Princess, can he recognize you? Maybe. And that's why we've got to protect her. That's why we've got to get rid of her. We're in deep enough without having her around. If she goes out of that door into Stavinsky's hands, it's your fault. She can't do it. I'll leave your dressing gown in the hall. Hi, Princess. Uh, you can stay. Sure you can. Hey, thought you... Hey, no. I gotta stay here and protect the Princess. Oh, well, I see. servant who has chosen to follow me into exile. <laughs> I should have told you about Ivan. He is the strongest man in all Russia. Come on, Jimmy, sit down. Your breakfast will get cold. Oh, I got more important things on my mind than breakfast. How can you do that? Don't you know we're in a jam? I don't see no use in a guy getting a shot in an empty stomach. Well, I never heard of anybody eating their way out of a spot. How do you like a fellow like that? I like him. He's so big and so strong and so brave. And besides, he likes my cooking. Uh, say, listen, we got no time for bib talking. At 11 o'clock, Stavinsky's going to be looking for those reinforcements. And what's he going to do about it? What's he going to do about it? The reinforcements was his idea. <laughs> yeah, and it was a good idea. Now, it's up to him to do something. He's uh, Pershing's pal. He's in command around here. Uh, maybe you think I ain't Pershing's pal. Listen, I'm the guy that helped him not to get Phil up. Hmm. Well, then why doesn't he help us not to get killed? Yeah, I could do that, too. Yeah, well, if you got an idea, you better tell us about it before it dies of loneliness. Uh, see, Princess, there you are. That's what I'm up against. I try to do a little serious thinking, and he belittles me. Jimmy, you should be ashamed. Well, you can just look at Chuck and see that he has an idea. Uh, well, maybe. Even a blind pig gets an acorn once in a while. Yeah, well, how do you like these acorns? I'm going to get a hold of that guy, Stavinsky, and I'm going to get him so full of vodka that he won't know a reinforcement from a two-door sedan. Then I'm going to get him to talking, and before he's through, we'll have enough on him to hang him. Ah, I see. He will convict himself. It is good, Jimmy, no? No, yeah. Well, it's good if it works. What do you mean, if it works? It's a cinch. You just stay here and help up with the housework while an old cavalry man does his stuff. Just to think, I got pushed around last night by a guy that crochets his own socks. So, 
So you like big, strong men, eh? Big, strong. Hi, man! Not the junk! You do not understand. Jimmy is my friend. Now get out of here and stay outside until I call you. Come on, get out of here. Hurry up. Get out. Jimmy, Ivan did that for me. You mustn't be angry with him. Me? Angry? I want to give him a big kiss. Well, uh, maybe you could uh, kiss me and I could tell him about it. He, he doesn't seem to scare Beaver. Can we take a chance on him? Oh, well, one of them can't do much. I say, uh, my good man, would you mind? Uh, 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 if you please, would you? Oh, never mind. Stop, Mildred. Uh, I say, uh, my good man, do you mind? Oh. And I may add that I have been more successful than my fondest dream. The scourge of the corn belt is the grasshopper, as you know. Or do you? No, no, I don't. Oh, no, no. Okay. That's a no. Why, for years, scientists have been trying to find some means of combating the scourge, and I, sir, I have found the answer. Mice? Oh. Yes, Siberian. Cross between the ordinary field mouse and the bull. They'll warm up in a minute. Oh, why, oh, please, the mice? croak at the grasshoppers and scare them away, huh? Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. They devour the grasshoppers. I'm afraid they're hungry. Have you a grasshopper? No, no. Oh. Maybe your wife has one. Oh, I'm sorry, you two haven't met. Uh, Princess, this is Mr. Uh, Grant. Uh, Grant. Uh, you see, Princess, Mr. Grant has solved a great problem. Mr. Grant is... Grant, did you say? Yes, Grant. Uriah Simplex Grant. Oh, on the level? U.S. Grant? Certainly. That's my name, and I'll have no aspersions cast on uh, from, from Iowa, you say? Yes, sir. Corn County. Ah, mighty pretty country down there. Mighty pretty country. Here, here, uh, have a cigarette. Uh, no, thank you. I never... Well, here, let's uh, toss a toast for this happy occasion. No, thank you. I never drink. I'm in training. You know. You see, I'm the center-upper for our volleyball team. Ah, a bit of an athlete, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Grant, old boy, your arrival has been most opportune. You're the answer to an unvoiced supplication. Your name shall go from oh, the corner of the That's very time. nice, of course, but I'm afraid you're carried away. I can't be that. Ah, oh, but you're all of that and even more. You, sir, you are the reinforcements. Back here. Back here. Hey, how about you? Does that stuff bother you at all? Uh, vodka just makes me feel mean. I can always shoot a few people and sober up. By the way, how much ammunition have you got for that machine gun? Uh-uh-uh-uh. I asked the question. You, by all means. I merely wanted to know what we could count on in case of an attack. But then there's the reinforcements. Oh, sure, sure, the reinforcements. I suppose they'll bring machine guns and ammunition. Listen, Stevie, you seem to be a pretty nice fellow. As a matter of fact, you're the only guy I ever saw to sit down and drink without getting slapped. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Just as one pal of another. Jake? Jake. About the reinforcements. Here, here, here. The hand, the hand. You're not Napoleon, you're Grant. Grant, oh yeah, Grant. Here, General Grant. I don't like the back. You are General Grant. Ah, I'll turn the mice loose. 
General Slavinsky, allow me to present General Grant of the USA. General? Ah, the General Grant. Oh, yes. U.S. Grant. Welcome, General Grant. Welcome to... Exactly. <laughs> Cheer, didn't you? Yeah, and I also got a load of this guy in his uniform. Hey. Oh, my head. If I live till four o'clock, I'll live forever. <laughs> and you were the guy that was going to take care of Stravinsky. <laughs> if it hadn't been for General Grant. General Grant? It was more like a small sack of oats. Sergeant, you're rubbing it in. I thought I wore the uniform with quite an air. You look like the remains of Coxie's army. What's the matter? Huh? I, uh, nothing. I, uh, I thought I heard a funny noise. Didn't you hear nothing? No. It's the bells in your ears from the vodka. Well, listen, that guy Stavinsky is nobody's dummy, you know that. No, uh, he's a smart hombre. As long as we can keep him guessing, we're safe. Yeah, but when he stops guessing, what then? Then, uh, kaput. Well, look, when the kaput and stuff... Uh-huh. Then they are real, huh? Of course they're real. And they're mine. Thanks. That takes an awful load off my mind. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. What's the matter with you? I'm resigning. I came here for the protection of my nation's representatives. I have no aspirations for a military career. I'm sorry to do this, Grant. Ah, please, please, not that. Are you General Grant? Uh, yes. Uh, all right, then. Now sit down over there and have a cigarette. I don't smoke. Tobacco makes me ill. High Executioner. Oh, yes. My favorite. Defer. Defer to the Lord. I yes. never mind the offering. Come on over here. Sit down and try and look like the general staff. Huh? We ought to have a map. Uh, I got it. Hi, Princess. Oh, pardon me. This is a military map. <laughs> oh, I brought it along in case I get homesick. General Stravinsky, officially returned to call of the great American general. Welcome to the American headquarters, General. I don't think we're going to have any trouble, do you? 
Uh, the general is referring to the problem of holding the town. Oh, I think the general's arrival will eliminate any difficulty. Now, we in... Skravoskanov. Exactly. We in Skravoskanov will leave no stone unturned in order that the distinguished American general will feel at home. General Stavinsky's compliments. He invites the American general, his staff, and his friends to be present at a celebration he is arranging in their honor in the village square this afternoon. And I can assure you that it will be the greatest celebration in all the history of Skavaskanya. Exactly. You still look like Coxie's army to me.
Why, here's Chuck. Well, he'll be killed. Well, he must be crazy. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> oh, gee, he's swell. the tale of a town so bold, braver and stronger and smarter. Hark to a tale that has never been told of hype and the terror of Bultata. Ivan was the terror of Bultata. Hey! Ivan was massive without being fat. Here's an idea for a starter. Two dozen eagles put nest in the hat of Ivan the terror of Bultata. He rode a horse that was forty hands high. He wore a barrel for a garter. Millions of lightning sparks flashed from the eye of Ivan the Terrible Potter. Ivan the Terrible Potter. Hey! Ivan was traveling on, reaching the border. General Stravinsky's compliment. The general plans a surprise for the American rider. And he begs the honor of your assistance. Dennis was eager to Kavinsky. Dennis was eager to Kavinsky. Hey, hey. Just to explain how Stavinsky was feared, he merely burped for a starter. And 200 field mice jumped out of the beard of Ivan the Terrible Tatter. Ivan the Terrible Tatter. There was a roaring that you call the trees. He danced again to begin to keep. He popped on his chest and broke both the knees of Stanislaus Igor Stavinsky. Oh, Stanislaus Igor Stavinsky, hey, hey! Stavinsky was doomed as he fell to the ground, but gamely he grabbed for the garter, hoping by chance he could pull off the pants of Ivan, the terrible partner. <laughs> of Ivan, the terrible partner, hey! But this was the gesture the poet explains for Ivan prepared to move in ski. And a man with a blotter picked up the remains of Stanislaus Igor Stawinski. <laughs> now, if you believe the decor was a judge and you in the main would be smarter, I merely suggest you be jumped on just once. I even a terrible judge. I was a terrible judge. You must have known I recognize you, Sonia Bozmanov. How could I forget so beautiful a face? If you had mentioned it, this abduction would not have been necessary. The poor man was too rough. I'm so sorry. But your American friend, the silly sergeant who thinks he can drink, and the brilliant Jimmy with his General Grant. <laughs> Children playing soldiers. Have you a pin? No. Of course. May I? Come in! Oh yes, the American machine gun. You were successful, comrade? Quite. The buying pin and the breach mechanism. There was no one on guard? No. As you planned it, they were all at the celebration. Except for the dog. He was no trouble. Good. How does it feel, comrade, to be in your regular uniform? That's better. Oh, I beg your pardon. You don't remember the comrade. He had the extreme pleasure of executing the real Stavinsky, along with a score of your friends. He let your service. Sonia! Chuck! What, 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 what's up? The kabooten started. The kabooten. You'll regret that move. You think so? Are you expecting company, sir?
You bring such bad luck to your friend. And now, cold meat. Well, you take the sergeant. I got a personal interest in Jimmy. How about the General Grant? I'll match you for him. Oh, don't, don't shoot. What possible good can it do to kill those three? It'll only bring the whole army. Let me talk to them. All right. Jimmy, stop! Don't come any closer. Sonia, we've been looking for you. What are you doing up there? I'm here because this is where I belong. Oh, Jimmy, don't take it so hard. I'm a spy. I was sent here to make love to you. Yeah, and who spiked our machine gun? I did, while you were so foolishly showing off at the celebration. Why, Jimmy, you stuck to me like a little lovesick boy. I was afraid I couldn't get away. But when you ran to the sergeant, oh, it was so easy. Now go. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, she ain't worth it. Tell your kid they're all alike. Why didn't say nothing when a damn gun to me in Manila one time? Sit down. I had a Sonia Peck from the start. Didn't I tell you to get rid of her tonight? Yes, you did. Sure. Now, if you'd have taken my advice, you wouldn't be moping around here like somebody stole your marbles, and we wouldn't be shot one machine gun. But she didn't do it. What? Well, I heard her tell you so. I heard her. Yes, and she told me something else that you didn't hear. Ain't that just like a chump? Oh, come on, kid. Forget it. Come on, let's clean out of here. This stuff is nothing but bad luck anyway. Sit down, you. There's somebody at the door. Well, you've had as much experience with these things as I have. You won't take them so to heart. And you, a fine watchdog you turned out to be. Hmm. Letting a chisel a little damn like that get away with a prison end of a machine gun. <coughs> well, what's the matter with him? Sounds like he's sore. Possibly. He didn't like what you said about the young lady. Young lady? Why, that... <coughs> hey, hey, take it easy. Hey. Hey, you don't have to get tough. Good boy, Beaver. Wait a minute, Chuck. Beaver's been hurt, huh? Now, don't tell me Sonia did that. What is it, Beaver? Who did that? <coughs> Hey, useless. You understand those mice? See if you can figure out what he's trying to say. <coughs> Evidently, he wants you to look at the gun. Look, a glove. You know who wore that, don't you? Sure, one of Stavinsky's aides. Exactly. He dropped it while he was dismantling the gun. That's what Beaver's been trying to tell us. Don't you get it, Chuck? Sonia was trying to save us because Stavinsky had us covered. And she's in a fine spot. Yeah, and here we are standing here while she... are my prisoners. Thank you for waiting for us. This way, please. I'll never forgive myself. If I hadn't left her alone, all this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, and I ought to have my head examined for letting those fellas pick us up like a couple of ripe plums. Well, the only one who can help her now is Ivan.
Miss Ford, have a drink. Yeah. Why, you should feel like celebrating. Your friend is well on his way. Come. Let's try. we got to get out of here. Now, listen. I'll pretend I'm choking. When the guard comes, you sock him. We'll get his gun and shoot our way out. You ready? Ready. All right. Here goes nothing. Forget your general plan. Uh, oh, oh. It worked. What it worked? worked? Well, you got it. Where is it? Hey, Chuck, look here. here. Hey, where'd you get that?
Soldier to soldier, let's get it over in a hurry, will you? Yeah, I'm sick of looking at you. He's coming too. Quick. General, well, you're a hero. My mice, they're all dead. <laughs> nothing. They're drunk. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Hey. We've been looking all over Russia for you while you've been hiding out here taking it soft. Soft? We've been fighting a war. Uh, the war's been over for six months. Huh? Six months? Yes, and you're under arrest. Come on, we're going home. Why don't somebody tell me these things? Well, I'm not going home unless I can figure out some way to take you with me. Oh, we... Yeah? Oh, the family jewels. Yes, the family jewels. San Francisco? Gee, that's swell. The mayor of San Francisco is a very good friend of mine, and he'll marry us in the city hall. <laughs> hey, Chuck, we got a surprise for you. You got a surprise for me, eh? Hey? Look behind you. Oh. oh, don't worry. Why don't you marry the princess right here in Sk Sk Goodbye. Exactly. Uncle Sam will take care of the transportation. <laughs> 